Hi folks, it's Nate Picos of Blambot, and I thought I'd talk to you today about a new feature included in the latest version of Illustrator called Intertwine. Uh, it's going to help you if you use the stroke method of lettering. If you have my book, there's some details in there about the different methods of lettering. Uh, if you don't have my book, you can go to my website, blambot.com slash pages slash lettering dash tips and look for better letterer number 15 the two schools of balloon making layer versus stroke it's a bit complicated to get into this in this video but the, the infographic will pretty much tell you all you need to know there's no right or wrong method um, it's all about preference and speed what you think works better and faster I use the stroke method so this new intertwine feature has been speeding up my workflow a bit. Now, if you follow Darren Bennett of And World Design, a fantastic letterer that you should be following, uh, he posted a video maybe a week ago showing a, a quick version of how intertwine works, but I wanted to do one with audio with a little more depth. Um, so I'm going to open Illustrator here, and I've just got one of my basic templates set up with some pre-made balloons. The idea here is that we want balloons in a conversation that overlap to look like they were laid down as if they were cards from a deck. One card on top of the next, on top of the next. And the order doesn't matter. Um, you'll see Marvel letterers tend to prefer to do it the opposite way that I do it. But, you know, it's, it's whatever you prefer. Anyway, so we've got two speakers here having a conversation and, and you'll overlap balloons when you're lettering if you're short on space in a panel um, or if the speakers are sort of hurriedly talking over each other a little bit maybe. Now using the stroke method it was always a little difficult to do this one balloon on top of the next on top of the next when they were connected because once you've got a balloon connector here all of the balloons that are connected act essentially as, as one object. Um, but what we want is balloon one at the bottom, balloon two next, balloon three on top of that. So this may be a little complicated. I'm just going to do it and you'll see what I mean. So in a new version of Illustrator, you're going to want to select, let me lock the lettering layer here. You're going to want to select all your balloons, go to object, intertwine and make and your cursor will turn into a little lasso so I want balloon one at the bottom which is where it is I want balloon two next which is where it is but I want balloon three on top of balloon two so what I do with this little lasso is just draw where I want them to intertwine and it pops on the top so now I've got balloon one on the bottom, then balloon two, then balloon three on top of that. Now, of course, we occasionally get these ridiculously complicated conversations, and if they're all overlapping due to space or, or the, the rhythm of the dialogue, you're going to have to do that. Now you can see speaker number one has all these balloons on the left, speaker number two has all these balloons on the right, and I want them to look like cards dealt from a deck, one on top of the next, on top of the next. So again, you grab all the balloons, object, oops, intertwine, make. And balloon one is where I want it, balloon two is on top of that, which is fine. Things get complicated when we do balloon three. So now that I've got that little lasso cursor, I can draw around there and then balloon three is on top of balloon two. Balloon four is where it should be and we got to do the next one. And then down here we've got one more. And now they're layered like cards dealt from a deck. 